so once you download the link from my google drive you will get the rar file of the download what you need to do is extract this rar file right click extract files and extract here extract here will extract the file in this very folder in the downloads folder if you wish to extract to a different location click on extract files and then over here choose the location where you wish to extract so i wish to extract at e drive at my softwares folder in software sem2 so i wish to download this over here so i select that and you click on ok it will start the downloading once it finishes the downloading you will get it over here over here and you start the installation from here onwards so guys let's install oracle 11g so when you extract the rar file which i have shared on my google drive you will get this folder double click it go to oracle 11g oracle setup dv 11g disk 1 and you will get this setup icon right click it and run as administrator always install it as administrator you will get a confirmation message box say yes and the installation will start next i accept next next okay now you got to enter the password for the system user so the username is system so give a password which you can remember so i'll stick to the conventional admin so give a password which you can remember you can give your name also and next and install So I am uploading the download link of this Oracle 11G on my Google Drive and I'll share the link with you all in the description box of this video. So you all can download the software from there.
you and your installation is done and how to start now the SQL command click on this start icon in Windows and search for SQL search for SQL so you will get SQL command line click and run as administrator here and you will get this console so what you need to do is first connect to the database by writing the connect command so you need to write connect c o n c t t and enter it is asking for a username username we had or discussed when we installed the software and password is admin when we gave what Give the password what you have given at the time of the setup and you will say connect save and now you can fire your sql query so now if you wish to create a table employee create table emp e number number of five primary key e name where cat two of ten Colon, hit enter so your queries will be executed 